be doing a video on the Wicked Cool Toys Girl Scout Cookie Oven. This oven has a lot of details and features, so I'm going to show you all of them. So up on the top, there is a melting chamber for your chocolate to melt, which you will be using the pan for. And over here, there's a little Girl Scout sign, and when it's lighting up, that means your cookies are baking. And over here, you, it's like a pushing, and then right here is the cooling chamber. And right here, you can see your cookies baking. And here's the on and off switch. And this set also comes with a water extruder, which you just pull your water up, and then you just press it down how many millimeters you need. And here's a spatula, and on this side is spatula, it can hold your pan, and this side can take off your cookies. It also comes with your chocolate cookie mix and some chocolate chips. And of course the pan. And you also need from your own house some scissors to open your bags, a spoon, a spatula just in case, and a bowl, a mixing bowl, and also a cup of water. So let's get started. So let's open our chocolate cookie mix first. And we'll just open it up here and pour it in the bowl. Okay, let's get all the cookie mix in the bowl after everything's inside. Let's get everything inside. And also, you have to preheat your oven, so you just plug it in, but you have to ask your parents to help you, and then turn it on when you see the light flash. So I'm gonna ask my mom to help me after I pour, after I make my mix. And also, you'll need to butter your pan first, so your cookies won't stick to the tray. Okay, now we're gonna take our water. Let's see how many millimeters we need of. So this says we need um, nine millimeters of water and put it in the mix. Okay, so we'll fill it up all the way up to nine. And you just fill it up by pulling the top up. And now let's just pour it into our mix. There you go. And now let's stir it up. And just keep stirring until your whole cookie batter is all mixed up and no more powder is left. So now I'm going to go preheat my oven for five minutes. See you later. Back and after I stirred it, it's really like sticky and gooey. I don't know why, but let's see how it turns out. So you're supposed to make six out of these. It doesn't look like you can make six out of them, but we'll try to. Okay, let's do it. And on the... On the paper, it looked very like smooth and wet, but I guess we didn't get to get wet balls. But we just take them and just put them on your pan and use, it's good to, it's better to use two spoons so you can scrape off. So let's get everything, all the batter. And it's okay if your hands get gooey, it's just um, having fun. So we're going to take all our stuff out. There we go. So let's take another ball. So here we go. It looks really, really gooey. So let's see. It's so sticky. How am I going to get this off? I think you can make six, actually, because there's quite a lot of batter left. Okay, let's add a little bit more to all of them. Let's put this in. I think you're supposed to flatten them out. So, I'm going to flatten them out. I don't want to put them two next to each other, because then it's not going to work. And there we go. It's a little sticky. There we go. 
got stuck. Okay. And then after you flatten them out, I can't really flat them out. It's too stuck to my fingers. Okay. So then let's flatten them up with our spoon. Maybe it will work better. It's not really working, so we'll just um, put it in the oven now. So let's come right here, and is my oven on? Yes, it is. So I'm just gonna take this and take my oven. Oh, it's hot. Okay, and pull it all the way back, and let that bake. So you can see it baking in there. That's really cool. And let me check how long we have to bake it for. You have to bake it for, oh, why isn't it opening? Mm, you have to bake it for 10, wait, no, not 10, for 8 to 9 minutes. So let's wait for 8 to 9 minutes, and when I'm after my cookies are done baking, I'm going to show you them. It's been 8 to 9 minutes right now, and we're going to put the cookies in the cooling chamber. Let's pull them so you pull this all the way. There's a tiny little arrow right here. So there we go. And after it's done, you just let it cool for 10 minutes. Once the cookies are done cooling down, so I'm gonna slide them out. So let's slide the pan out. And then let's use this so we don't burn. Okay. So here's what they look like. And I'm just gonna put them down right here. And take them. They said to put it in the refrigerator, but I'm just gonna put them on this sheet while I'm making the, um, what's it called, the, the frosting for it. They're pretty tiny compared to what I thought they looked in the picture, but it's okay. They're fine. Okay, so now we're gonna just put our pan up here and we're gonna open up our chocolate. Let's open it up with our scissors and put it up here in the melting chamber. So we can melt all our chocolate. And here's in the chocolates where the mint part is. So let's put it in. Let's put it all in. And then you also need your spoon to stir it around. So let's just leave it there. My chocolate is about melted already. It took like 10 minutes to get melting. So now I'm gonna drizzle all my cookies. And I also took some trefles from the Girl Scout the real Girl Scout cookies, and I think it's gonna taste good with the truffles too. So I'm gonna dip one in, and put it up here. Wait, let me get all the excess off. Okay, and put it right here. So there's one cookie, and I'm gonna drizzle one. Okay, let me take it off from the bottom. So I drizzled one, and I'm gonna drizzle one on some, on a trefle. Okay, there's the bumps. And now I'm going to dip the rest. Okay. And when I'm gonna do half of it. Okay, I'm just gonna do half of it. And then I'm gonna dip the rest too. Okay, and last one. Okay, here are all my cookies all done. Now I'm gonna put them all on my plate. The one with the drizzle. So now I'm gonna try one of these and then I'm gonna finish my video. So I'm gonna try this one and let's try. good. I like how it tastes. I really like it. I bet it, it was really good to do all the work so I know how the real experience of a little baker is. And then you get the delicious cookies. So if you like this video, please subscribe and like. Bye!